Season 3, Group A between Monastrelloc and Loli. Starting over here at... Oh my god, get in the game. There we go. Starting over here at <laughs> starting over here at the 9 o'clock position, representing FXO Gaming and the Yellow Trunks. We're going to see if the Zerg can get his team kill. It is Loli. His opponent over here at the 3 o'clock position. Uh, 3 o'clock position, representing FXO himself in the Red Trunks. It is going to be the Terran player, Strelok. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is all set right now. The first set of today's Remix Arsenal so Group A. We are having uh, Strelok and Loli tied up 2 2. We're playing on Abyssal City, one of the newer maps recently introduced by the GSL and the Crux map making team. So, really love this map. Really interesting map overall. Um, it's actually underwater for those who, are, who don't know and don't watch GSL. So, Welcome in. Um, I'll actually show some of the cool animations when stuff dies. It's actually pretty neat. It actually just flows up. Um, we see a little bit of a lag spike from Loli, but should be fine. Can't you guys just wait for global play? Should be awesome. And local land host. That should be really fun. As we see the awesome GSL logo in place throughout this map. And there should be actually, I don't know if it's a floating shark. I know there's the automaton wa wa walking its way underwater, but I swear there was like a shark or something else really cool about this map. Can't remember. Well, there are some space sharks that are just kind of floating around, chilling, hanging out, doing their thing. And as we see, even cool some of the underwater tanks here as well. So, completely underwater map. Now, here we go. Strelok opening up with a little bit of a gas opener, if you want to call it. Might be going for quick reactor hellions to kind of catch it lowly off guard. Um, this sort of work didn't work in his favor in game number one on the Xelnaga Caverns. We'll see if it's going to be a little bit different this time, and who knows, maybe uh, Strela could be going for a quick Reaper just to have a unit he could scout with um, early in this game. Now, now as we take a look and see, Loli going for a very standard 15 hatch. Uh, no gas just yet. Uh, there we go, finally grabs, so fourth game in a row, a standard opener, uh, grabs that 17 gas that he's been grabbing as of late, and then going to be going for a standard opener. Now, right now with how the metagame is, I know some people are kind of a little upset, you know, TVZ, it's kind of hard, actually something was kind of funny, Bomb I read something this morning about Bomber's Comets, he actually used thing and maybe switching races if some of the balance doesn't change in Heart of the Swarm, but... You know, I'm actually a little bit excited. Yesterday, I actually got a chance to check out Heart of the Swarm. Finally, got Mike Bay to key, got to play around a little bit. That's part of the reason why I should have gone to bed a little bit sooner than I did uh, to cast this. But, you know, got Heart of the Swarm, got curious, started playing, testing out some of the new units uh, that the Terran player has. For those who don't know, I'm mainly a Terran player, but at the moment, just playing random, checking out some of the Zerg and some of the Protoss units. And what I've really liked, um, I actually really do like Widow Mines. Um, Still trying to get the full understanding and their capabilities and how to utilize them in composition. At the moment, really helping. The Widow Mines are really helping out a lot of the Terrans with um, just kind of turtling and defensive style of play. Haven't really had an opportunity to really utilize them for harass that much. Now, on the Zerg end of things, um, of course, some of the new units like the Swarm Host and the uh, Viper haven't actually had a chance to really utilize either of those. Um, anytime that I've spawned a Zerg, I've actually just used the same composition and it's worked really well. Um, I want to try out the Swarm Host, but I just don't feel like it's a good investment when you've got the option of um, infestors in there, fungal. So until the plans that are kind of being put in place by David Kim, as we saw in the patch notes yesterday, he's thinking about he's thinking about uh, heavily. Well, I don't know if it was quote unquote heavily nerfing the infestor, but until they get nerfed, I feel as the swarm host will get a little bit ignored for a while. So that was just kind of a little bit of the heart of the swarm update on my end. So it's a, it, was, it was neat to try. It was neat to try it out. Um, I still think Wings of Liberty is a little bit more of a better functioning game, but again, that's part of the process of and why exactly, and that's exactly another reason why the game's still sitting in beta. Now here we go. We're gonna watch and see. Reactor Helens are gonna be popping out. They're gonna get on in here. There's three queens plus a spine crawler in place, so it might not be exactly one of the best trades for uh, Strelok if he decides to go on in there. Of course, slowly how he's been playing. I mean, he's sitting. He's been sitting on a two base economy, so I'm not sure exactly what Strelok was hoping for. If he was hoping maybe if I go Reactor Helens and the lowly goes for a quick three base, I might have an opportunity to get in there and do quite a bit of damage. But again. 
Lowly grabbing a two, quick two base lair. He's getting also <clears throat> his third and fourth gases as his lair's popping out. So this actually might be um, some sort of muta play, some really quick two base muta play. We'll just have to watch and see. Um, he could also go for a little bit quick infestors, but at the moment having a little bit of a little skeptical about it. And wow, actually just deciding to put down a Roach Warren as part of his wall. So I guess playing it safe just in case Strelok does decide to go mech on a map like this. Um, but I mean, hey. You, it is what it is, and oh, going actually for the Hellion drop, very smart, I really actually like this, by Strelok being very smart, doing as much damage as possible, he can just lift up Hellion by Hellion, you know, he can lift up Hellion by Hellion, will he lift up Hellion by Hellion, we're not sure, and now he's just massing up at Hellions, and this natural is actually really vulnerable right now, does he have a full wall off, it doesn't look to be, he, I don't know if it's airtight, oh there it is, it's actually Whoa. Well, now it's going to be airtight with the queens, and I mean, with additional queens and energy, no chance of Strelok going to be able to take them down. All the transfusers are going to keep those alive. And it might be just a better option right now for Strelok just to either lift up, do harass in the main, or just go home for the time being. Now, as we take a look and see, Strelok is continuing uh, his production. He has decided to go into a bio style of plays, getting his uh, stim upgrade just about done three fourths of the way, and adding a lot of barracks. So, no intentions of grabbing a quick third just yet. Uh, going to be really racking up on those units. And again, the more Hellions he saves, the better it is going to be for him because if, in fact, Loli does decide to, in the end, go for some sort of link style, even though he's not really, um, it's going to cause a lot of problems for. It's going to cause a lot of problems for Lily in the engagement process. Now, this is something that we're seeing a lot of Terrans do. They're showing a lot of Hellions, and because of that, Lily does have to react with Roaches, but because of that, that's exactly what Strelok wants him to do. He wants him to play like that because his stimmed DPS units like Marines and Marauders are going to have a lot of a lot easier time to be able to actually take out his opponent. As we see, Medivacs are out, Stim is finished up, and a lot of Barracks are going to be producing here in a second. And actually, all of them are getting uh, tech labs added on, so it looks like he's going to be actually massing up the mass marauder number. So, Strelok pulling out uh, a little bit of a cool little build. So, he's going to be actually going for the most part Hellion Marauder. And as long as uh, Loli has no ability to scout, he's actually going to have quite a bit of issues. The Viking, of course, clearing up any overlords in the area. So, I mean. These Marauders with Stim are going to be able to rip apart a lot of these Roaches as it is. And oh no, actually, you losing some of these Hellions running across the map, running right into them. He needs to send them home, repair them, and prepare for a push. And I mean, if you're a Terran and you're producing a 5 Barracks and Marauder plus Hellions, you're going to have a really nice engagement if the, uh, if the Zerg player is not aware of what's going on. Plus with the fact that they are Marauders, they are a little bit heavier units. The Fungals don't take them down as easy. And Lowly taking the third base, but still not aware completely of what's going on so here we go finally concussive shell finishes up able to catch one of those roaches and the game is starting to head across the map over to lowly side of the base and I mean this has got to be one of those really scary moments for lowly because he knows this is a lot of damage output a lot of DPS a lot of units out on the map he's gonna have to hit some really nice transfuses he's gonna have to engage well and really hope for a beautiful fungal there we go that's a good chunk of units and now he all he has to do is really just chain that and this is what we're talking about all these chain fungals he's got to really chain everything to death because the marauders do not die as fast but because of beautiful fungals he's going to not only be able to hold off but it maybe even potentially push this back um but again strelog just continuing to rally continuing to heal up a lot of these units and i mean he could continue this push because all these infestors are out of energy no more fungals are going to be in place for him but the difference is now lily being very smart transitioning into lings and uh, that aoe i mean that dps from the lings are going to be more than enough uh to be able to clear a lot of this push out and it looks like not deciding to lift up any of the units going to just push back and oh my god Strelok is completely all in bringing a lot of his scvs with this and this might have been something he would have wanted to do a tiny bit sooner um if he planned to do this sort of all in but at this point uh, Strelok kind of just lost the game right then and there pulling all of his economy all these units are uh, <laughs> uh oh my god that's funny so gg uh, i'm not gonna translate that gg um GG come from Strelok, Lowly taking the first series, 3-2. Oh my god, that's funny, complaining about Infestors, so that's